What a wonderful shape. A triangle right here. Oh, that's right. You know what? Do not underestimate a triangle. Because if you understand this one, you can understand whole geometry and uh, what calculus. And oh, that's right. Trigonometry. Trigonometry is the study of triangle, right? That's it. Oh, very interesting things going on. Okay, let's look at this triangle. Uh, the base is the 4 inches. Uh, the height, 5 inches. So what is the area? That's right. So base times height divided by 2. That means 4 times 5, 20 divided by 2, which is 10 square inches. Now I have a line right here on the top. Okay, I call this one line L. That's it. Then line L and segment AB are oh, parallel right here. Then I'm going to put one triangle right here somewhere. Okay, just like this one. Then I'm going to call this one Q. What do you think about this area of this triangle ABQ? The base is a 4 right here. Okay. What is the height? Oh, that's right. 5. Okay, the same area. Oh, that means, okay, left hand side, ABP, okay, 10 square inches. The right hand side, ABQ, okay, same area, which is 10 square inches. So that means a uh, triangle left hand side right here. Okay, let's say the area is a X. This is going to be X2, the same area. Please remember this picture, okay? Uh, everybody has what? That's right, photographic memory. So, one more time. So, we have two parallel lines just like this. Okay, then top and bottom right here. Okay, then left hand side, right hand side, we can make triangle just like this. But that one is area wise exactly the same area. Okay, now, what about the top and bottom? The two triangles. Oh, let's check this one out. You know what? This, let's say this angle right here is O, then this angle also O, right? You know why, right? Oh, that's right. Alternate angle. It's an interior alternate angles. Okay. What about this angle and the, oh, let's say this one is X, okay? So what about this X? Oh, gonna be X, right? The same angle. That's right. Alternate angle. What about this angle and that angle. Oh, vertical angles. Oh, that's why this triangle and this triangle, that's right. So similar, right? Oh, that's it. Let's look at these triangles right here. Okay, left hand side. Oh, that's right. Uh, the base is four, the height is five. That means the area, total area for this triangle is 10. The right hand side, same thing, right? What about top and bottom triangles? That's right. They were similar. So now, oh, let's check this length. Let's say uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's right. This one is 8 clicks right there. Okay, I'm going to say 8 inches. How about that? Okay, this is the bottom. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 inches. That's right. That means the lengthwise, okay, this one is a 2, then this one is 1, right? Okay, so 2, 2, okay, this one is 2, this is going to be 1 ratio. That means everything right there, corresponding size. Okay, this one is one, then this is gonna be two. This is gonna be one, this is gonna be two. See, things like that. So we have to understand this one, the lengthwise. Length ratio is the one to two ratio. Okay, then area wise, one square to two square, that's the area, that's why one to four ratio. If this one is X area, then this is gonna be four axis. In case we're talking about the volume, then oh, so 1 cube to 2 cube, which is a 1 to 8 ratio. So check one more thing. So you know what? 1 meter, right? 1 meter is 100 centimeters. Ha <laughs> ha. What about 1 square meter is how many square meters? Square centimeters, I mean. Okay, square centimeters. So which is? 100 square, which is 10,000 square centimeters. What about one cubic meter is how many cubic centimeters? 
Oh, cubic centimeters. So we go cc, right? That's a cubic centimeters. Also, you can write like the cubic centimeters if you want. Okay, doesn't matter. Then 100 cube. Oh, that means two zero, two zero, two zeros, three times. Okay, which is one million cc. That's it. Now, let's check this one out. Okay, left hand side, right hand side. Oh, new picture right here. Okay, let's say this one is x area. Okay, then this, this one also area is x, right? Oh, everybody knows this one now. What about a triangles a top and the bottom? Uh-huh. So that's right. Similar, right? Now, first of all, so we have to know one side. Okay, first. Okay, what about PQ? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, let's say this one is six inches. How about that? Okay, just like this. Then the bottom one, one, two, three, four. That's it. Okay. That means, oh, the lengthwise. Okay, so six to four. Or bottom one first, to then four to six. Why? Okay, that's it. So four to six. That means we can reduce this one. Okay, actually two to three, right? Oh, uh, that's ratio. Then, question like this one. If the area of this small triangle, okay, so it doesn't matter, so I can give you this one top, okay, bigger one, the small one. Okay, this one is the X, then how many X's right here? Okay, so oh, that's what we are looking for right there. Big question mark. Then, we have to find out the ratio of the areas, right? Oh, that's right. Area ratio looks like this. Okay, 2 to 3 for the length. Now, area is a 2 square, okay, to 3 square, which is a 4 to 9. That's it. Now, question looks like this. What if this small triangle area is a X? Then, what about this one then? Oh, that's it. So, I'm going to call this one Y. How about that? Y, right there. Then, hey, we can make area ratio, just like this one. So, Y, then we can use what? The fraction. That's it. Y to X equals, oh, the Y is a bigger one, so I, I gotta use the bigger one on the top, right? Okay, 9 to 4. That's it. Now, oh, we can use the cross multiplication, but we don't have to, right? Because, hey, all we need is just Y. That's why all I have to do, just to kick this one away, is right here. Okay, this was divide, now times. 9X divided by 4. That's it. Okay, then this answer right here is 9 over 4x. That's it. Which is 2 and quarter, 2.25x, right? What about this one is given? Or let's say this one is x. So what about this small triangle? Oh, that's what we call y. Okay, I'm going to call this one y. Okay, that means, oh, in this case, so I'm looking for y, right? That means, oh, I can make a ratio. So, y to x. Okay, so bottom one to the top one, which is a small one to the top. That's why I can use this one just like this one. 4 over 9. That's it. Now, cross multiplication. But like I said, we don't need it. So, we're going to kick this one away. x is going to be right here. That means this one. So, 4 over 9 x. That's it. Which is... 0.44444 forever x, right? Okay, not even half x. This is it. You try this one. If you get this one right, oh man, you're in good shape. Okay, now, oh uh, yeah, the bottom triangle is x. I'm talking about the area. What about this area? Oh, big question mark right there. Both are similar triangles. Then also the ratio of the length is what that's right it's the bottom one first let's say bottom one okay x okay then four to five right oh so four to five what about the area ratio oh four squared five squared which is 16 to 25 right now oh we know this one so now we can get what that's right the equation okay what about this one area okay, x to Okay, let's call this one y again. So now, actually, I'm looking for y. So I'm going to use y first. How about that? Just like this. Okay, y to x equals 
Y is the bigger one, right? Which is 25. That's right. 25 on the top. 25 to 16. Now cross multiplication. That means I can kick this X away, right? All I need is Y. That's why. Oh, I kick this one away. Just like this one. That means, oh, that's right. So Y equals 25 over 16 X. That's it. So, so y equals again 25 over 16x. If you got this one right, oh, that's right. You're good to go. Be happy.